what's going on guys we'll be sharing welcome back to another episode of how to even factions this is episode 18 and today i'm going to be showing you guys bunny regions now these things have been out for a little while and uh, i figured i'd go ahead and make a video on them i figured out how to get them to gin in well as well as a decent water prod system to use them with so I'm going to show you guys all of that in this video, and I'm going to try to pack it in there as much as I possibly can, because I know it's going to feel like a long video. So first, let's go ahead and start with what the heck are bunny regions. So these things are basically the five wide region here on this part, with a three wide region, three wide region on the side. And so what this does is, is it makes people have to move their cannons, like physically mine them up and move them, because currently as far as i know there's not a barrel wide enough to raid these if you offset uh enough of them so last map when we were doing them we had four offset basically we did them by a block every time as you guys can see here you can offset them more if you want i would just recommend offsetting them uh however much you want but do not allow parts of them to overlap because if like i bring this like if I had a third one here and lined up with the one in the back exactly, that's not good. That's not an offset one. You need to like readjust it. So just make sure you know how your bunnies are gonna gin in before you start to gin them in because these things, as you guys can see, one of these from Bedrock to Sky Limit, that's gonna be annoying to mine up and uh, replace and all that kind of crazy stuff. But to gin them in, it's actually uh, not that bad, so let's go ahead and take a look at that as the first part of this episode here. So what I'll do first, I'll show you how to gin them in, and then I'll show you the water prod system. So, this is the kind of pattern that you're going to need to create up in the sky when ginning them in. Now this piece, it just can reconnects to that over there, so basically let's start a new one. So if we're going to do this, or we're going to drop this back like one. We're going to come out one from there, and we're going to go across, I believe, five. Yes. So we have one, two, three, four, five. All right. And then we have this front piece, so we're going to come to the center. Uh, count in three blocks. We got one, two, three. Here's the dead center. Come out two blocks and break this piece back here. All right. So now that we have this all lined up, let me just go down here. Break this slab. This one, two. Yeah, break that too, as well as, nope, that one's fine, so we're going to go ahead and place this one there like that, this one there like that, I'm just going to sh show you guys how to uh, do the slab real quick, so if this is the corner piece right here where it falls down, you're going to place uh, those in that order, and then you're going to have this one come out five, four, four. oops, the hole didn't mean to do that right we have it come out five as you can see back here let me go ahead and remove this so it's easier to take a peek at and then you do a backwards one and then you put one forward and now if we uh, come around to the side actually let's go ahead and add on our little backwards piece here as well as our forward dot which is right there and that will complete the design on this one so then what we can do is we can come around to here and we will carry our design around. Actually, one thing that I want to do here is since I already joined in this other one, I want to make sure that the lava doesn't fall right there and catch on that thing and start pouring all over the place. So I'm going to place that downward. So I would be sure, do not do as I did and gin in this. Gin in the whole thing all at once because they are connected at some point or another. Uh, let's go ahead and we're going to get, as you guys can see, we're four blocks out here. So we got two, three, four, and then we're going to cut backwards and meet up with that one there. Nice. So that is pretty much it. You guys won't do some of these ones on the end if you guys are lining up uh, all of them at once. I think you won't do this one or this one yeah you guys won't do those two because then this will come here this will shoot out one and then this will go back like that and continue on with the next one but uh just for the sake of this episode 
I'm going to go ahead and drop them in there. So let's go ahead and start dropping our lava. You're just going to drop it on every single block that we've got here. Like so. And you should see the basic design on the top start to flesh out. Messed up somewhere here. It's alright. can fix this. Okay, there we go. So I was one block off. I forgot I was getting in the corner one. Uh, okay, cool. So now that we have that going, the lava there is destroyed itself. Not fun. Not fun at all. I should have caught it on this backside here. Uh, just go ahead and bust this down. I do not want the water to spill everywhere and destroy this. So totally forgot that that side needed a catch too okay cool so oops let's go ahead and get rid of this that can cause some problems beautiful okay that doesn't need a catch though so now that we've got this going like this is going to generate in one upwards from where I have the other one but that's all right and we can go ahead and let's just do this and this piece. Okay, cool. So now if I pour the water, it should gin in beautifully. Like that. Now we're going. Yep, good. I didn't catch it on top of any of these, and so then these get destroyed. That's awesome. So now that's gonna gin downwards and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off the water on the top and we'll open it up to make sure that the design looks correct but uh, as always guys when ginning in any walls you're gonna want to fly uh, or keep an account around the level that it's currently ginning at uh, especially on cosmic I don't know about other servers but on cosmic sometimes it likes to lag in the holes uh, obviously you can come back and check this later when you're filling them in but you might as well just go ahead and stick around. Now, as you can see, I didn't place water everywhere. I just placed water to where it would cover all of the sides. And that's pretty much it. You don't need water across every single one of these metal pieces. But now we can go ahead and bust open our top piece here. We're going to break out these three blocks. This one, that one, that one, that one can go away. Actually, let's leave that one because it's part of the original design. And that one as well. Okay, cool. So, as you guys can see, it looks to be flowing correctly. And it is. Nice. So, we got it going really good. And this one doesn't seem to be flowing forward for some reason, but that's alright. It's not a uh, necessary thing. It will later on when you fill it up. So, just don't worry about it. But, yeah, so we did it that correctly nice and so that's pretty much how it's gonna look and then from there you know, nuts about up let's go ahead and look at some water prodding now all right so as you guys can see i've created a little template here for you guys to use um this is how i would recommend doing it this is uh, incorporating in the, uh, the god water pot design as I like to call it uh, where you don't just pour it directly against the side where you pour it flowing onto it so that they can't uh, split you from top down makes it a whole lot harder to raid and uh, yeah so I'm gonna show you guys how to do this so basically each one of these cobblestone areas is going to be a water source now how you want to set this up is I'll show you guys so what you want to do is you run, run your line across the back side of your bunny regions in front your set of bunnies that are in front of it then what you're going to do is you're going to take the uh, blocks here and you're going to leave a two block space and you're going to fill in the rest of the spaces so if we have a two block space here we're going to have a three block space we need to put one make it two four block space here put two make it two and then we keep doing this now when you come to the center piece here you're going to want to do it like this you have a three a two and then a three again and then you'll go back to doing a decreasing pattern and you'll just kind of repeat this over and over again until you get to the very end so as you guys can see here it is looks pretty nice 
the end goal is this so let's go ahead and just fill it up to make sure we've got it so what you're going to do is you're going to place one water source on the edge of every block here that we have and then as you go along breaking the cobblestone you're going to place water sources in their position one way that you can check early on to make sure that you've got the water pot design right is to see that everything has a flowing piece against the wall there's nothing there that's uh, there's nothing there that's stagnant water looking so it looks like an actual source <clears throat> okay and now we can go ahead and start to remove some of these I'm just gonna want to fill these in like this uh, break them and then place it and then for these front ones you're gonna come around the front here and break them and place them just like that careful not to break these edge blocks over here because if they are touching then you're going to destroy a little bit of that region that'll be annoying but other than that there's nothing much to watch out for this it's fairly simple oh i almost totally forgot to show you guys how to fill them up we'll do that here in just a second kind of important part of the region is how to make it a region well at least we're getting all the outside done work first right because then once you have this down people make it harder to raid while you're trying to fill them up so if you wanted to have that as part of your defense then there you have it i'm just going to place a block back off here to the side so i can break this place that there and destroy that now what you could have done is just place it on one of these and then you wouldn't have had to end up on that block, but that's alright. Now let's go ahead and take a peek here. And it looks like we got it all down. Yeah. Cool. And it just makes this nice little design of a whole, like, water fortress ocean type looking thing. So that's always cool. So now I'm going to show you guys how to fill these up. Now that we've got it all water prod and everything, you're going to want to remove all of your lava sources from the inside. There we go. That should be all of them. Okay, and now that we're flowing down, the corner ones should go down the fastest, so corners, fill them up like some basic corners. Not too difficult. You're gonna come down to the bottom, you're gonna place in your blocks that don't get into the slabs, and you're gonna fill her up, please. Sorry, right, you're gonna leave the bottom block. You do not want to fill bottom blocks on any region. You're just gonna want to leave that as flowing water. Works best. Oops, missed one. Okay, cool. And then we're gonna go down these ones here. Like so. Oops, skipped one. Down this one. <laughs> out we can do the center one so let's just uh go ahead around the outside edge and place in all of our non jindin blocks Doop. swag all right filled in Alrighty, now that we've got the bottom all done, what I would recommend doing is to get yourself a block. Let's see. Oh, Alright, so where we're going to start is, is basically what you're going to do is you're going to fill these up layer by layer. So you're going to place one lava source here, one lava source here in this back corner, another lava source here in this back corner, and a lava source right there in the front. Then you're going to come right here, very important guys. You're going to place a block right there, and it'll flow out like that. You shouldn't have to do that again, I don't believe, but if you do, I would just recommend doing it at the end then. I guess we'll see here. I would think that it would flow out, though. It doesn't look like it's going to flow out. So what you're going to do is you're just going to repeat this design over and over again. 
as you go your way upwards. Pretty simple stuff, really. Nothing too crazy. It's gonna take a ton of lava sources, but it is definitely gonna be worth it in the end. And here we go. All right, as you guys can see, just keep upwards and rotating around. Filling in all of them. Do do do. Cool. Okay, and then so now when we get to the top, place a block here, place a block on the side of it, break that one, and let them flow out. And that completes your bunny. And I think I filled up one of these. Fill up this end one here. There we go. Yeah, I filled up this one. So these things, as you can see, ooh, ooh, ooh. filling up quite nice. I don't know why it does that. So it's so weird to me because there are sources right here, and so, but I think it's just can't implant it. It's been doing that recently where it's doing some holes in my regions. So I don't know what's up with that, but you know, can't find it. Who can say? Cool. So that is all good to go and now it is all set up and now you're all set. So yeah, that's how you uh fill them up right there. And this is how you water prod them. And back over here, once again. The design to gin them in so that is going to do for this video hope you guys did indeed enjoy jeez i'm losing my voice <clears throat> hope you guys did indeed enjoy this video like to if you do enjoy i want to see some more from cosmic pvp and i will see you guys next time until then see you guys later peace